Hi everyone, I hope you're okay. Welcome back. So I'm adding some silicone oil into each of my paints. I'm going to add the paints into a cup and I'm gonna literally do a straight pour onto this canvas. I'm using a 16 by 16 inch canvas. I'm adding one drop, literally just one drop of silicone in each of the colors that you see. Well, you can just see your white at the moment, <laughs> but believe me, these are the pleasant paints and these are gonna really change color when they're stretched out and they're on a black base. But I wanted to add some silicone because I wanted to see how it reacts with the pearlescent paints. And I wanted to see if I could create like a webbing, almost like a spider's web on a piece of canvas, on you know, on a, a canvas size with a black base to see if those drops of silicone really help those colors kind of web and infuse and really pop through. So I'm layering my cup. I'm excited to see how this experiment turns out and I can't wait for you to see the end result. So I'm going to continue layering the cup and then we'll straight pour onto the canvas. So before we pour our mixture of pearlescent paints, I'm just going to add a black background. So I'm literally going to swirl the black around the canvas. I've started in the middle and then I'm going to add a little bit more around the edges. And then I'm going to use a palette knife to completely cover this canvas in black paint. Pearlescent paints only work if you've got like a black or a very dark background. If you use just a white background, they're not going to work. That's because the light needs to go through the paints, bounce off of a black background and back through the pleasant paints to help those colours shimmer, shine and really transform. And that's how that magic happens. So that's the reason you've seen me use black bases on all of my pleasant series. And if you want a little bit more information about pearlescent paints, I've created and written a small guide that's available on my Patreon shop. So check out the details below in the description box. You'll find that there if you want a little bit more information and about what I've learned over the last few months whilst using these paints. Okay, I'm ready to literally pour the pleasant paints in the middle of the canvas. I'm just doing it quite slowly. I'm going to empty my cup directly onto the canvas. You'll see some air bubbles, but I'm going to get my torch. I'm going to pop those air bubbles and then I'm going to stretch out this piece. And in fact, I can see how the torch is really helping the cells create within the paints because of the silicone oil. So before I stretch, I want to take you in now just to see some of that detail. Look at those details there. Now we have no idea at this point what colours they're going to be. I know that there's a lot of white and yellow in these pieces because they're the colours that I had the most of, but I do have some more of all the other colours. So they're all in there somewhere. I'm now going to stretch this out and then I'm going to use my torch again to really help that mixture react. It's going to that torch and that heat is going to help those cells form by using that silicone oil. So let's stretch this piece out and then I'll take you in for another close up.
I'm just using my palette knife to take all the drips off the edges. I'm going to do that on each edge to ensure I've got a clean canvas. And then I'm going to take my torch and I'm going to pop the air bubbles, but also use the torch to help the reaction with the paints and the silicone oil to see those cells really pop up. And you can see it here as I use my torch, the reaction with some of those cells. I'll take you in closer now so you can see that reaction. Can you see how using the torch reacts with the paint and the silicone oil and you can see all those cells popping through? And I can't wait for it to dry so you can see the final result. I'll take you in shortly for a look at the dry version. Okay, so here's the dry version. It's really, really hard to show you how wonderful these colours are on camera because it needs to really react with the light. And I've got my light on. I've got no natural light in my room today. So I'm filming this at night, actually. So it's probably not the best conditions. However, I'm going to take you in now for a close-up. And then I'm literally going to pick this piece up and shine a light above it so you can see some of those wonderful colours popping through and I really loved using the silicone actually for this because there's so much webbing and there's so many cells within this piece that it's really really interesting when you just stand back and look at that detail so yeah let me leave you with some of that detail now This piece is definitely a bit more muted, a little bit more of a kind of a pastel look, but I really love how those all those colours there are shimmering through. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I really hope I get to see you again in the next video. Take care, everyone, and thanks so much for all of your support. See you soon. Bye.